Hi, this is John again. Uh, this is going on with my uh, proceeding with my safe and sound project uh, with uh, element 14 uh, with the challenge. And, and uh, with this time, I'm using the MSP 432 uh, with the Sharp LCD booster pack. And uh, what I've added is the DLP um, NFC RFID booster pack, the DLP 7970ABP. NFC transponder, which comes from TI, which came in the kit as well, so that was pretty cool. But the problem is, uh, as you can see, between the, the Sharp booster pack and the DLP booster pack, uh, they don't have the extra pins on top of them, so you can't stack them. Um, and I can't plug it on the back. So, And the other problem is, uh, they share pins. So the the Sharp booster pack, as well as, as the, the NFC booster pack, both of them, uh, are using the same pins on the MSP432. So what I have done, I have moved some assignments um, for the DLP, actually moved them to the inside row of pins that are on the headers, for, which you can't see because of the sharp booster back is there. So I've reassigned some of the, the signals, the, the, the spy select and some other uh, signals for that, and uh, and went ahead and enabled those and, and that allowed me to use both of them on the same MSP 432 um, so it, eventually what I, I'm hoping to do is to use the NFC as an NFC to Bluetooth uh, handoff so uh, instead of trying to link in with with Bluetooth and use the NFC to to connect and then hand it off to to Bluetooth and be able to transmit some data um, so there's a project that came with this um, that, I, that, that comes through some of the examples. This is the P401R TRF7970 all NFC modes. So this is an example and there are some MSP432 examples inside there which you can just basically um, you can check to see if you have an NFC signal and that's about it. But they did have some MSP430 examples with uh, another board that had an LCD display, but those weren't enabled for this. So I've actually hacked that as well. So now I can get that information, which shows uh, the model number, the TRF7970A, um, and then some other information. And I get the firmware version as well with the 1.03.00. And then there's uh, these other um, uh, other values that are going to come up later. And I've I've gone through and I've actually enabled at least one of them. So I needed to proceed and, and get the rest of them, but that's kind of a start. So to be able to get this through here, so it's it's been kind of a hack to get it going, but uh, so far it's worked pretty good. But basically, all I have, um, and, and to check it, I have this little this little device here. Uh, I don't want to bring it in, but uh, the kit also came with a little, I guess, RFID uh, sheet, and uh, it's it's kind of beat up. That's the way it came in. I thought I had a hole in it, but I guess it, it's supposed to be there. But it seems to work. So if I bring it close to to the uh, NFC booster pack, as I get closer, you can see the blue light come on, and then uh, and it should go solid eventually. Okay, now, and then the value you see is the RSSI value, so that's the the signal strength value, the received signal strength value that we're getting from that. So that's actually pretty good. Um, and it's actually working, so it should change you know, as as it, you see as it activates as I get further away. Uh, let's see if it does it. There it goes. I can come at it at an angle. See if it works. There it goes. It'll come up right on it. See, it's got pretty good signal strength. So so far I've got that. I've also had a I borrowed some stuff from another example as well, so I can display a value on there. Um, without having to refresh the entire screen, that's another thing. So all I'm doing is changing that one single value on the LCD. I don't have to re uh, redisplay everything on there. And I, that's something I didn't want to do because I want to display and let it sit there and then just change values that I, I need to change. So I had to go in and, and make some changes with that. So uh, so far it looks like it's doing okay. Um, need to find a better way of setting this up. Maybe on the uh, the P5 header might be a better option because I also want to bring in the Bluetooth device in here too. So, uh, so far it looks like it's doing pretty good. Um, so I can get a little blue LED. It should blink, 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 solid, go solid. There it goes. Okay, so it's working.
Valeu.